Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Brace yourself for an earthquaking shock. Nothing you have ever seen, nothing you have ever felt could prepare you for this colossus of entertainment. The Double D. It's Friday, bitches. It oh, is yeah. Friday. Season four. I don't know how we recover from the season premiere on Monday. I know. Oh. Special guest was in the house if you missed it. Jim Crown. You can get it at the podcast at idiotradio.net or on our Facebook page. That's a definite downloadable uh, show. <laughs> that, yeah. that really was. Yeah. He was great. That's the one to remember. My, we're done, my we're, boner's just going down. We're done cleaning up the cub now from fucking Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Who is worse, Tim with Jim or me with Kid Chris? It's a push. Hey, it is. Uh, I think it is a push. <laughs> I, I think Tim, I, I, if Kid Chris was in here, you might have fucking blew him. <laughs> I mean, short of uh, offering to buy Kid Chris a house in Pittsburgh so he could be yeah. closer to you. <laughs> hey, man, you ever come to Pittsburgh, make sure you come to the, come see me. I, I'm actually glad TJ was sitting in between us because, I don't know, I might have molested him. <laughs> hey, what I said, do you want, Tim, do you want to switch chairs? He grabbed my leg and looked at me and goes, no. It almost became Please. an S- SVU episode. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, um, it's a Friday edition. And yeah. We have a lot going on, tons going on in season four. We have our big idiot radio fest uh, comedy show, A Ooh. Comics. Um, let's, you want me to run down the comics real quick? Yeah, sure. Let's run them down. Yeah. Joey Purse. Funny. Yeah. Brian Jerome. Mm-hmm. Funny. Definitely. Sam I think Leonard. He's in love with me. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Leonard, the host of the show, Howie D. Mac. Nice. Which he'll be here next week. Yeah. He'll nice. be in the house. Uh, nice. Helping us in that final push uh, for the, for the uh, show. Woo. Um, I want to sell out. We haven't sold out yet, but uh, ticket sales have been jumping up. So we need to really, we're going to go into a big push this week. Pay attention, because there's going to be secret offers and stuff. Wait, you didn't run down the rest of the people, though. Oh, Howie D. Mack. <laughs> yeah. Jay Cooper. Funny. Oh, yeah, that we got to watch the purse. Marcus <laughs> Cox. <laughs> funny. Oh, funny. The crown queen of comedy in Pittsburgh, Samantha Bennett. Yes, yes. funny. She was the winner funny. of the improv. Hey, I'm, I'm almost surprised she actually did something from the, from the playoff game when and when uh, she came uh, back, actually. obviously, yeah. obviously, me and TJ don't know what the fuck we did that night. She honestly <laughs> was kind of disappointed we weren't drunk. Yeah, I think she, I, I think she liked that one better. I think yeah. she like turned up TJ and Jack versus so- sober TJ and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a message. If you're going, if you're going to go to a playoff game, don't come in hammered. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we just don't have shows those days. Me and TJ missed that note to self. <laughs> now, who's the headliner? Oh. Jay Russ. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Funny. Jay Jay. Jay Russ. That's what I'm talking about. Idiotradio.net to get your tickets. Ten dollars. There's gonna be promotions because I want to sell out. We're gonna be uh, promoting all week, right? Right. All week. Come see us, come find us, we'll give you tickets. In fact, I'm gonna go on Facebook Live right now. Do it. Do it. See what happens. See what? who you can find. If you can find a village idiot, so I gotta put we'll my get pants, your tickets. I gotta put my pants back on now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're gonna go You know we get comfortable up you here. Had <laughs> yeah. a, you've had them off since Monday. I think the boner's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm setting up Facebook Live right now. We're gonna go Facebook Live. Hey, oh. we're on Facebook Live. There's the guys in the hey. studio. Come find us, come find us. You want a ticket? Come see us. Okay, so here's here's the deal. I'm going to give away free tickets, two free tickets to Idiot Radio Fest and a $25 bar tab. What? Whoa, what? Yes. Whoa, I won it on this. <laughs> <laughs> May 13th, right here at the Brookline Pub. Wow. 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ding. Woo. <laughs> so what we're going to do, all you have to do is call in. 412-407-SHOW and you win free tickets and a $25 bar tab to the show. So the first person to do that wins. What, what's the number again? 412 <laughs> <laughs> You're not employees He's calling of right now. Radio are not eligible. He's calling right Son now. Son of a bitch! 412-407-SHOW The guys are all in studio. Yeah. Waiting to take your call. Come on. Free stuff. Free Come stuff. On. 
Call it up. Call it up. Okay. So here's your chance. Free tickets and a $25 bar tab to the May 13th Idiot Radio Fest comedy show. Eight comedians. You're not going to get a show like that. Not of that caliber. Never. Eight comedians. Tickets are just $10 at IdiotRadio.net. But your chance to win them free while we're on the air live at Idiot Radio uh, Studios inside the Brookline Pub. Yeah. I mean, mean, just to run down the headliners' credentials. Gotham. The Carolines. Mm. You know, I mean... What, what else can you say about the guy? This guy is awesome. He's they're they're with He's national acts like Ricky Smiley. Yeah, yeah they're, exactly. They're some of Pittsburgh's finest. Yeah, so you, call in. You ain't getting all that for $10. No, not anywhere. Not anywhere. And we're doing it for free with you right now. First call in. Let's yeah, go. Exactly. And a $25 tab. At the yeah. Pub, that could be like that your could, whole night. Yeah. I, I, went, I went to the improv. It was $25 night. for two drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> We went there for the show. Yeah. I was wearing shots and drinks. My tab was like one hundred eighty-five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go off live right now. Don't forget to tune in. You can tune into us live on the show idiotradio.net. Uh, we're, we're taping the Friday show, but if you're checking us out live on this Facebook feed or on the app or on idiotradio.net, the live stream, you can uh, you can win the tickets. Right. Call in 412-407-SHOW. Two tickets to the show, May 13th, right here at the Brookline Pub, uh, and yeah. a $25 bar tab. Yeah. So um, Call in. And if they call now, they get on the air? Yeah, they'll yeah. be on the yeah. air. There we go. All right. Peace, bitches. We're going to go do our show now. <laughs> um, all right. Now that we got that taken care of. So there's no, there's no guests on this show, right? It's just us. <laughs> just like do old we time. Need, do we need a We're guest? kicking it old no. school. Hey, TJ, we can go raw and unsecure right now. There's no, there's no, the pants, no fuck-ups right now. You know? yeah. The <laughs> pants can come back off. <laughs> Finally. Tim said this lap shit was getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah. i got to get back to normal. Right? We have been unmuzzled. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a lot of great things coming up in the in the near future. June, we have our 90s party. We're yeah. going to have a pizza eating contest and a car, car bike, and Jeep cruise yeah. with a cornhole tournament and a pierogi eating contest. Uh, I have I have, I oh. have a very – it's not 100% confirmed, but I have a very large location where this is going to be a big event. We're going to have vendor tents and everything. Oh. What, which, which one is that? The, the car – bike and jeep cruise all right i have a car i'm good to go i can do it <laughs> <laughs> so i gotta wear pants for this yeah what are you saying when we're in public we gotta wear pants <laughs> damn i'm out <laughs> buy your tickets at radio.net don't forget to call in 412-407 show for the winner we'll put you on the air you win your tickets you'll get your 25 dollar uh gift card jeez and I'm, I'm putting a personal thing out there if you find jack splat mm. i'll get you tickets you got it. You got Jack Splat. You can find you get tickets. Michael, too. Michael's on. If you show boobies, you might get them free. <laughs> it depends on how good the boobies look. You know, I'm, just, I'm not going to block. For true. saggy sallies, you're not giving them free. Uh, uh, you might, might pay five be. bucks. That might be. Yeah, I, need, I need some money for them forearms you got. <laughs> <laughs> what's, that, what's that phone number again they can call into? 412 show. Yeah. Free tickets and a bar tab. You can't beat that, especially the Brookline Pub with the bar tab. I mean, yeah. that's, you know. a, that's a good bunch of drinks right there. For yeah, like Tim bucks. said, $25 gets you two drinks at the Improv. Yeah. Here, you'll get two sandwiches and a good bit of drinks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really. But there's somebody, the specials they have. Can somebody yeah. pay my bar tab right now? I'll get you a set of tickets. <laughs> <laughs> it's also sponsored by Click Vodka. Oh, good old yeah. Somebody running Click Vodka specials all night. Oh, you can't beat that. The Click so uh, what we got going on on the show today there, boss? I got a song to start off. Oh, oh, shit. I don't like fancy learning books. I don't like apple tarts. I don't like cozy breakfast nooks. I don't like modern arts. Well, I like farts. <laughs> yes, I like farts. <laughs> nice. I like long farts, short farts, wet farts, your farts. I like farts if you've got hearts. Oh, I've got hearts. Let's hear those farts. How do I start? Well, <laughs> Peter, I will help you get your fart to start it. <laughs> oh, super good. <laughs> 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 yeah, there were uh, farts everywhere and toots. That doesn't matter. Uh, that's like it's crazy. <laughs> nice. Good nice. shit. Nice. <laughs> so that's a good way to kick off a uh, uh, a good Friday. A Friday, Friday show. show. Yeah. The party's going on. Thank, Thank God, God it's Friday. Friday. Yeah. It's Friday. 
motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Let's go back in time. It's Flashback Friday. Motherfucker. So it's Friday, and we usually play a flashback clip. Uh-uh. And uh, what is it this week? Back to the time where uh, Blind Brian called in and he couldn't log into the stream. Oh, <laughs> we, shit. What happens is his computer talks to him. So he, right. he can't, if I change the website around, he can't, lo- it doesn't, he doesn't know where to log in at. You know, Vinny and I try to help him out. So here it is, uh, Blind Boy Tech Support from the Village Idiot Show. On the Double D Show, Flashback Friday. The Village Idiot Show. You're listening to the Village Idiot Show. Hey, B man, this is Vinny, man. What? This is Vinny, man. How you doing? I've been, I've been great, Vinny. How are you? I'm all right. I'm I'm gonna trouble check check your uh your computer. Here's what you got to do. Here, check your firewalls and your ports. Okay. Here, press press. Can you do me a favor? We're going we're gonna to tap yeah. in through your phone. Can you press number nine on your phone? Uh, hold, hold on. We'll, we'll, ta- we'll tap into your computer. Okay. I'm almost into your computer now. Can you press number two on your phone? I don't know. I'm having trouble connected to your computer. Can you press number three on your phone? Hey, hey, guys, put it. Wait, wait. I'm almost through the firewall. Can you press number three on your phone, please? I'm, I'm not as dumb as I seem, you know? Okay, I think I'm in now. Ready? I'm going to tap in. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he was pressing them buttons. No shit. Shit. No, no. Tap into his computer. <laughs> oh, my God. You need to check your firewall Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, Jesus. Let's get the show kicked off with a nice cold drink. It was, it was like the more you drink, it was like, I'm not as stupid as you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm more not as stupid drink, as I see. And then he's still hitting the button. <laughs> the better we sound. I drink beer because I should. Oh, you should bring that back. Back. Hell yeah! I, I like beer. that. Yeah. I drink beer when I am sad because the beer it makes beer is good. Hey, Todd, that was funny as hell. That was, that was Especially funny. when he said, I'm not dumb as I look. I still <laughs> press three. <laughs> he said it and still hit the number. I was like, oh, my God. So we got a great Friday show planned for you today. Uh, we're going to be giving away tickets to the show. Uh, 412-407 shows the number. Um, but we're gonna, today we're going to be talking about a husband that gets caught doing something and has to hold an embarrassing sign on the street. Uh, his wife caught him, and it's not good. Um, a guy catches his girlfriend cheating and reacts in the best way possible. Uh, a woman with two vaginas. How about that? A woman with two vaginas. Nice. Most, the most popular woman in high school. <laughs> right? I don't know. It's not as uh, glamorous as you would think. Not for her. Um, and then a man sticks an eel in his bum. An eel in a his what? bum. He sticks an eel in his bum. An electrical eel? Yeah, I think um, there. No, I don't know if it was electrical. I, I was doubt like, it. Ain't there electrical eels? Yeah, he'd yeah, be dead. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it would definitely kill him. Yeah, he'd be dead. Plus, yeah. uh, plus those things are huge. I don't know if we get into his. Yeah. It, it, yeah. So, I mean, from what the, I, from what I've I seen, think it, he was having an issue, and it was a, a recommended remedy that backfired on him. So yeah. I, that's about as far as I'll take that. This yeah, has to be yeah. over in the Orient because there ain't. Uh, like yeah, that. So you ain't, you ain't definitely in the United States. You ain't that catching the fool? eels down in Allegheny. If it, was, if it was in the United States, it'd have been a fetish, not a remedy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take our first break, and when we return, we'll be talking about an eight-year-old that drove his sister to McDonald's. Awesome. And the whitest people in America get into a fight over some property. Wow. Them damn white people. <laughs> it's the Double D Show. We're at the site of the Idiot Radio Fest 2017 comedy show. Yes. 734 Brookline Boulevard. May 13th, 8 p.m. You get, you get, you get, get here at 7, seven. though, Big Mike. Doors yeah, open at 7. 7. <laughs> Come at 7. Get your tickets <laughs> at idiotradio.net. Get or find me. All right, let's take our first break, and uh, we'll be back right after this. Yeah, no, 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 no. Phones everywhere in two minutes. That's not going to do it. Look, it's crazy. <laughs> Click Vodka and Idiot Radio presents the 2017 Idiot Radio Fest Stand-Up Comedy Festival. Saturday, May 13th, 8 p.m. at the Brookline Pub. Scheduled to appear, Joey Purse, Brian Jerome, Sam Leonard. Hosted by Howie D. Mack, featuring Jay Cooper, 
Marcus Cox, Samantha Bentley, and the headliner of the evening, Jay Russ. Idiot Radio Fest Stand-Up Comedy Festival, Saturday, May 13th at the Brookline Pub. Purchase $10 tickets online at idiotradio.net or at the door for $15. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats. Featuring full-service dog and cat grooming, bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear-end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Money Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. Hey, it's T.O. Double D from the Double D Show. I just wanted to take a quick second and tell you about our new friends at Pizza and Gyro Express in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. The other day, I stopped in there for lunch and had the most amazing gyro hoagie and Turner's tea. It doesn't get any better than that. Plus, the sandwich was huge. I almost didn't finish it. Besides their amazing pizza and gyros, they also feature a lunch buffet and a drink every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for just $10. Go visit our friends at Pizza and Gyro Express, 801 O'Neill Boulevard, and McKeesport, PA. Let loose at the hottest new after-hours club northeast of Pittsburgh. Exposure Gentlemen's Club, 288 Clearfield Pike, Catanic, PA. Enjoy complimentary drinks and our beautiful dancers every Tuesday through Saturday, 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Admission is just $20 until 2 a.m. and $25 from 2 a.m. to close. VIP and champagne rooms available. For more details, go to clubexposure.com. Come by yourself or with a group and have the night out you deserve. We're back. It's the Double D Show Season 4, bitches. Oh, the yeah. Friday show. Yeah. Crazy. I can't believe we're already at Season 4. I can. <laughs> this is what we do. This is what we do, man. We're getting it. That's what we yeah. do. <laughs> we're getting it. So there, there's this guy uh, from Massachusetts who is uh, suing Golden Corral for $2 million for false advertising. False advertising. Yeah. What the hell did they involve advertising? Uh, he was literally thrown out of uh, one of the chains by employees. Uh, according to witnesses, 51-year-old uh, man was uh, expelled from the restaurant after he spent seven hours on site ingesting a, a quantity of food which has been estimated to be around 50 to 70 pounds. Wow. wow. Holy hell. Uh, despite the fact the restaurant uh, advertised all-you-can-eat buffet, the manager of the establishment seemed to have uh, have lost his patience at some point and told the man to leave. And when he didn't, they made him leave. <laughs> wow. How are you going to get that guy out of his seat? Apparently, he's a big man. Yeah, he, he's Without large. Without him shitting yeah. all over yeah. him. <laughs> he was going to the bathroom shitting and coming back and eating. <laughs> They, they had a, <laughs> out with the old, in with a, the new. A, I guess a pretty big scrum, the altercation, and and they they pushed him out the doors, and um, he immediately called police. Imagine that nine one one call. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got you, kicked out. Uh, I'd like to file a complaint against Golden Corral. They made me leave. <laughs> but after all that, do you really want to go back in there? <laughs> but, like, yeah. Like I have, I have issues when I eat there for <laughs> twenty minutes. With yeah. the, the way I the wonder how many goes. times he shit in that seven hour period. I told you, probably was going in the bathroom, coming back and eating yeah. again. I would old in when you Emptying new. out. Yeah. <laughs> I should be like all you can eat without pooping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new commercial. As soon as you poop, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he's in uh, litigation with them right now. They offered him a settlement, but he didn't take it. So he'll be, uh, it's going to court, and he thinks he can get more. He's going for up to $2 million. Oh, dang. Wow. That's a hell so, of a meal. I mean, I guess that's kind of embarrassing and all that. Yeah, Getting sure. thrown out of the Golden Corral for being too fat. Pretty much. 
That's crazy. Uh, did anybody hear about the eight-year-old kid? Yeah, I heard, I heard. Him and his sister, he drove to McDonald's in his parents' van. Yeah, he watched YouTube videos yeah. to learn how to drive. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Here's the story. An Ohio boy proved that neither age nor a lack of a driver's license could stop you from satisfying an intense craving for fast food. The eight-year-old's deep hankering for a cheeseburger prompted him to look up how to drive on YouTube. While his parents were fast asleep, the kid got the keys to his dad's locked van and took his four-year-old sister on a short drive to the nearest McDonald's. Amazingly, the boy didn't hit anything along the way. He followed traffic rules and seemed to drive a hell of a lot better than most adults. <laughs> McDonald's workers thought they were being pranked when the kid and his sister pulled up in the van, but it soon became clear they were unsupervised minors. After a cop arrived to talk to the boy, the kid realized he might be in trouble and burst out crying. The authorities were more amused than anything else and won't be filing any charges. The kids were later picked up by their parents, but only after they'd had their fill of cheeseburgers, fries, and nuggets. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. So that happened. So, That's crazy. So they had a Mc, Mc hankering for food. Sometimes wonder, you just need did, the I wonder if they, had, they didn't say that they have money. That's what I'm wondering. I, I imagine they probably wouldn't. Huh. I mean, look, let me let me put this to you. If I'm working at McDonald's at, in the middle of the night, an eight-year-old or four-year-old pull up on a car and order whatever they're ordering, I'm just going to give it to them. Fuck it. They made it that much. Shit. <laughs> and that, he, I guess he drove well. I guess the videos. Yeah, it didn't wreck or nothing. Yeah, they him. said he followed the traffic rules and all that. Hey, I've pulled in the McDonald's drive through drunker than that probably a couple times and probably could drive less better than they could. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell. Taco Bell is my crutch. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, yeah Jack's too. Did, did you see the the burrito taco? Uh, I'm, now we're I'm getting liking on. it. It's a little soggy inside. Like it's a little messy. Have you inside. had it? I'm, yeah, I've, I've, I've had, had it a few good. times. Yeah. It, it looks good. At two in the morning, everything looks good. I pro- in yeah, the past, yeah. since I came out, I've probably eaten up a total of probably about twenty. Hey, one Damn. time. Hey, one time I went to talk to Bell. Right, not all at once. I pulled in one time, and they said, "Pulled away." They said, "We have no chicken and no beef." <laughs> really? And what Every, do you have? Just steak. They said everything you have has steak on I said. Or beans. Or beans. Mm-hmm. Steak and beans. That's it. Well, let me get steaks steak all beans. around. Yeah. yeah. Phones everywhere and toots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use. I, I don't. I, I was mad at myself because I haven't used that one enough. That, that's actually what happens the next day after <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> now, I was talking about the, the whitest neighbors in the world. Oh, boy. Going at it. It's, uh-huh. it's actually kind of funny. The, the the it's a husband and wife that come out and um the husband has like no shirt plumber's <laughs> crack nice. and he's like screaming at the, you don't see the the other guy because he's wearing a GoPro because he knows that there's going to be an issue and he wanted to videotape it What for did him. I tell you about coming to my house <laughs> <laughs> Well here it is the the white people fight You guys have an opportunity to remove it you opened a hole in my house, and that's why it came through. You shouldn't have opened a hole in my house. Don't. Oh, you just pushed me, tough don't. guy, huh? Tough guy. Oh, tough guy. Open a hole in my house? Oh, don't you just push him. Is he talking hey, about his wife? Don't, 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 don't push, push him. Case, okay? You were touching our stuff. You put a it's hole in garage. our house. No, it's no, not. It's shared property, Step genius. Away. Step away. Cross-eyed Step genius. I'm not touching you. Step away. Step away. Do you guys want to remove it, or I'm going to remove it? Don't touch our stuff. Or what? You guys are in my, like, this is my garage. This is not yours. Do you understand that? What part of my garage is not mine? Like, I'm entitled to this. You didn't buy this garage, Aaron. You pushed me. Oh, tough guy. Oh. Tough guy. Tough guy. Whoa. Oh, tough guy. guy. What are you, cross-eyed? Are you cross-eyed? Seriously. <laughs> are you cross-eyed? Seriously. Stanley Andrew. Get your fucking hand Don't off me, you piece him. of shit. What is ah. going on right now? Seriously. You guys Get need... the fuck out of our house, you dumbass. Whoa. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? You're Get the fuck out of my house. Wow. Is this I'm on video? Call the yeah, he did it with a GoPro. Are you, you serious? I got. I gotta watch this video. Your hand up my neck, you dumb shit. Who pushed who now? <laughs> that guy's you hilarious. He does kind of sound myself. like Jack a little bit. Get out of my way! I'm getting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold my house. That's where Wait, my fucking kids of, sleep. Yeah, you fucking did. You ripped off the goddamn wall, you dumbass. I didn't. You look like Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. Whoa. Whoa, he, he pulled Weezer, Weezer out. Like Weezer, <laughs> he, he okay, did. well, you look like him. Thank you. All right, go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> you will make Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. Go, go fuck yourself. Tough guy. Now, 
That is the widest comment I've ever heard. Like, I, I don't, is that even an insult? What does Rivers yeah. Cuomo look like? I, I don't have think no he's idea. A bad looking dude. Hey, I had the same conversation with him under smoking like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what he I said. Look like Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. You know what that means. Oh, you never listen to Weezer? I like the music. I like okay, how he gets well, angry. Like <laughs> <laughs> Is that Weezer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Wow. Hey, Tim, did you hear that in Germany, too, after the Backstreet Boys? That's me playing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Okay. More. Don't care what they say about us anyway. We don't, <laughs> don't care about oh, that. Oh, tough guy. Come on, tough, tough guy. guy. Come on, tough guy. We, you need to save that clip. That's awesome. <laughs> you look like Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get it. <laughs> I like how that guy just pulls that out random. Like, who the hell's thinking of that guy in the middle of the yeah, fight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he must be a big Weezer. <laughs> yeah. You don't know who the hell he is? Right? He gets all offended. You don't listen to Weezer? <laughs> I saw him at the Florida State uh, the Penitentiary. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we got a call for uh, tickets. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey! What, what we got? Hold on. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Double. Caller. Hey, Double D. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, no. Is this, what? Wait a minute. Do you know who this is? The voice sounds familiar. That's my, is it, my it, McDonald's is guy. It Double D. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He's in the business. Oh, my God. I've been, I've been, I've been stalking you, Double D. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Do you want tickets I was, to the uh, show? Yeah, yeah, I want tickets. Oh, do you? Oh, <laughs> wow. Do I get to sit on your lap? Oh, no. Oh. Sure. Who is this? Or do you want to sit on mine? Uh, e- either one works for me. <laughs> oh, my God. I, oh, I've been looking I gotta, for you at McDonald's. About it. Can, I get a, can I get a Big Mac? I haven't Mac? seen you there. I've been up the Vasta with Big Mike. Oh. 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 Are you setting me oh. up for this, Mike? No, I'm are not. You, do you, are you behind this? It all no. comes out now. Who the fuck are you? They don't call him Big Mike for no reason. Oh! <laughs> oh. Wow. It's because Crazy. of his height. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, McDonald's guy. <laughs> Is that what we call you? Hi, Double D. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a Big Mac meal and this a Super Bowl? Nice. <laughs> this is what live phone is. Oh, I just gave you some special sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I am never going to McDonald's again now. <laughs> Excuse me, bitch. Is that Jack Splat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, he comes to McDonald's all the time. I think maybe we should give the tickets to somebody else. <laughs> uh, we have a bad connection here. Enjoy the show. <laughs> should we just hang up now? Yeah, yeah. that was. Yeah, I think we. Yeah. Enjoy the thanks, show, man. Thanks, right. McDonald's guy. Yeah, well, thanks, buddy. McDonald's guy. We lied. You're not getting no tickets. No, thank you. It's my pleasure. Oh. <laughs> hang up. Uh, all, right, all right, bye, McDonald's guy. You need more guys. oxygen in your tank. I'm kind of weirded out by that. I am never going to McDonald's again. Now it's, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of weird. I was going to give him tickets. I don't know. Uh, wrong yeah, answer. Yeah, somebody's going to get raped. He'll be the audience, audience jerking off. He, he's going to Pee Wee Herman our show. <laughs> he's going, Jesus. Don't Tough guy. <laughs> Tough guy. Let's go back in time. It's Flashback Friday. Motherfucker. Hey, Double D. Um, I wanted to tell you that you have a sexy voice. And, um,. I wanted to know if you wanted to meet down at uh, McDonald's on West Liberty after one of his shows. And uh, I could give you a handy. I'm sticking my thumb up your butt while I'm giving you a handy. And I think you'd like that. I hear you talk about guys all the time on the radio. And uh, it gets me really turned on. And uh, sometimes I masturbate to your voice because it's just so sexy. Oh, let me know if you want to meet me at the West Liberty McDonald's for handy and a thumb job.
All right, let's take our break. Uh, when we come back, a guy holds an embarrassing sign as a punishment. Uh, his wife catches him doing something, and she Uh-oh. makes him hold an embarrassing oh, sign in the middle of public, Uh-oh. a public hey, place. Don't be making fun of that. That could be me in a couple weeks. You never know. <laughs> a guy catches his girlfriend cheating and handles it uh, like pretty much like a Jedi. And then there's a, a unique hotel that could terrify people. Nice. In uh, the best barista place in the world. What is the barista? It's like a Starbucks. Yeah, it's like the people to make your coffee. Oh, I thought it was like the uh, special thing. Oh, 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 shit. One of those places. Nice. Ooh. It's the Double D Show. We'll be back. <laughs> extra foam on my coffee. Right. Special massage. <laughs> We'll be back right after this. Tough guy! <laughs> hey, it's T.O. Double D and Vinny. We just got done with a big, important meeting, Vin, with big clients. Yes, sir. And we decided to do it in a unique way. We did a food, food truck meeting, which I think is a big trend right now, right? Oh, it's a very big trend right now, and everybody wants to jump on board. And we called our friends at Spiels on Wheels. And I had an awesome uh, Philly cheesesteak wrap. And I had the Reuben wrap. And I also had the Budweiser cheese toss. They were amazing. <sighs> you can have one of these events for yourself. Just got to give our friends at Spiels on Wheels food truck and catering a call. The phone number is 724-244-9881. You can hit them up on Facebook at Spiels on Dot Wheels. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Looking for a great place to have your next party or celebration? Exposure Gentlemen's Club, 288 Clearfield Pike, Katanning, PA, is a great place to have guys or girls night out, birthday, divorce, and bachelor party. For details about private VIP party rooms and group rates call 724-548-8730 or visit clubexposure.com come by yourself or with a group and have a night out you deserve Energy Angel Solution Alternative Healing Services Do you need some relaxation in your life? Is your mind feeling sluggish? Does your body hurt? Have you been feeling off balanced and just not centered lately? Energy Angel Solutions LLC offers healing that considers the energy of the whole person body, mind, and energy for optimal health and wellness. For more information, visit our website at energyangelsolutions.com Lake Vodka and Idiot Radio presents the 2017 Idiot Radio Fest Stand-Up Comedy Festival. Saturday, May 13th, 8 p.m. at the Brookline Pub. Scheduled to appear, Joey Purse, Brian Jerome, Sam Leonard. Hosted by Howie D. Mack. Featuring Jay Cooper, Marcus Cox, Samantha Bentley, and the headliner of the evening, Jay Russ. Idiot Radio Fest Stand-Up Comedy Festival, Saturday, May 13th at the Brookline Pub. Purchase $10 tickets online at idiotradio.net or at the door for $15. We're back on the Double D Show. We still don't have a winner for the free tickets. Was that? Are we playing Weezer right now? We, we, we're not <laughs> playing Weezer right now. Here we, but I think we're getting a call. Oh, thank God! I have this better than the other one. <laughs> the McDonald's one. Yeah. Hello, you're on the air. Where do you hey, work? Did at? you guys get a winner yet? No. What lucky me. What? Say Damn, what? lucky you. Who is this? Jesus. My name's Tammy. Tammy, do you work at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> No, I've never worked at McDonald's, but I'm from Beaver. Man, Beaver. That's a double Beaver right there. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you hear about the how'd you hear about the tickets, Tammy? On Facebook. Okay, got a follower on Facebook calling in. Nice. Nice. Thank God. Our phone is really loud. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, your phone is loud. You won. You're a winner. They clap it up, guys. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey Tammy from Beaver. Yeah, good job, Tammy. That's a far drive. Isn't Beaver far away? It's right down sixty. You're good. So, Tammy, uh, I'm going to put you on hold, and uh, TJ is going to give you uh, give you your two tickets and a $25 bar tab right here for the Brookline Pub, May 13th, Idiot Radio Fest 2017. Yeah. 
eight comics. 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ting. <laughs> All right, Tammy, thanks for listening. And, thanks, um, Tammy. Enjoy the show. Make sure you come up and say hi and take Good. pictures with everybody. Congratulations. Good yeah. job. Just hang on the phone, Tammy. I'll be right on with you. Buy your tickets at idiotradio.net. Thanks, Tammy. We got our winner. Very good. Very good. All right. Nice. We'll see Tammy at the show. See you at the show, We should have asked who she was bringing. She, <laughs> if she was bringing a dude, no tickets. Oh, you were, you were terrible. <laughs> All right, so let's get, let's get on the show and wrap things up. Uh, a woman makes her husband hold a sign that says, I'll never suck dick again. Whoa. In the middle Whoa. of in a, in a public street corner. Damn. Wow. It'd be like somebody holding it at the corner of, like, I don't know. Brookline Busy's, Boulevard yeah. and uh, West Liberty? Yeah. Somewhere Something near like 734 that. Brookline Boulevard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sucking dick anymore, but go to the fucking pub. <laughs> so she caught him sucking dick, and she made him hold the sign in public. Did she, does she really think that the dick sucking is going to stop? No. Wait a minute. She caught him. Yeah. How embarrassing would that be? Damn. Sorry, I got so, a so dick and two cocks in my balls. Sorry. <laughs> So tell us, Jack, how embarrassing is that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. That is crazy. Though. I wouldn't know nothing about that, sir. I'm sorry. We should do that. We should recreate that. You might on May 13th. Uh, hold, a, hold a sign? <laughs> no, yeah. you're not. No, you're fucking not. <laughs> Have Jack stand out by the, uh, the Chrysler dealer <laughs> with that sign. I'll never suck dick again. <laughs> I'll never suck clock, black clock again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that Brian Jerome keep dropping by. Like, <laughs> oh, he, it ain't over yet, Jack. You ain't <laughs> done yet. <laughs> I show up late one fucking time and it never happened. <laughs> that, so, that's how it goes. I have a new hero. Oh, this, shit. This guy, Dustin Holloway, he's a 23-year-old guy from Texas. This guy's a fucking Jedi. He um he caught his girlfriend cheating on him. And nice. like I would have fucking lost my mind. I would have went in and I would have started fighting. Cuz he walks in the bedroom and uh-huh. the, the girlfriend is passed out on his bed with a dude. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have lost my mind. I would have I would have lost my shit. So right. what did he do? Two shots and you're dead. So what he did was he took selfies with them in the background. And posted them all over social media. Nice. nice. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's. So, yeah, that's. Well. Now that's crazy. That's smart on his point. Yeah, that was smart on yeah. his point. I'd had a before and after selfie. One with the laying in bed, the other one with their dead bodies. So. Oh shit. He's like smiling and stuff, and. Um, Maybe he's finally like happy. He's free. Maybe she was like that cold hearted bitch. <laughs> he said, um, he put on the post. He said. Um, Man, she's been cheating on me with the man she's been cheating on me with is the, is the picture he posted, right. the yeah. caption he posted uh, in his in his uh, status. I lost my rhythm. I, <laughs> I, I can tell. I'm I out of tell. gas from the from the Crenn show on Monday. Yeah, I'm still tired from that. He posted four mm-hmm. images and wrote, uh, "When you come home to another man in your bed with with your loved one, good men deserve good women." But, I mean, he got a lot, he's going to get a lot of sympathy push. He's going to get a lot of ass, uh, yeah. yeah. Hell, yeah. I mean, That's great. immediately he's going to get sympathy push. For sure. For that. Um, can you know them chicks will be like, I'll make you forget her. You know, it'd be running all over the place. The the post went pretty viral and uh, since has been deleted, but thousands of people were giving him well wishes. and uh, Yeah. I'm sure he got a few phone numbers or whatever. You um, know. No doubt. So I was telling you about the... Um, the new ho- the, the hotel that's going to scare the shit out of you? Yeah. So. Cl- a clown motel is a, is a real thing. Clown motel. In a Nevada town, uh, the inn caters to bikers, truckers, and other long-haul drivers because they could kill them and nobody <laughs> would know that they're missing. Right. <laughs> but... Uh, isn't that exactly the place to spend the night if you suffer from, uh, I'm not going to get this right, cool, cool That's the fear, the of, fear clowns. of clowns. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I just, I just booked my next vacation at that place. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is scared to death of clowns. And it's in the, how close to Vegas is that? 
Uh, I think it's a uh, like an old mining town right outside of Vegas. Shit, that's even better. She'll be scared to death. I'll go down there, hit the tables. I'll be good. To- Who's going to Vegas next year? 2018, we're going to the Klein Motel, baby. <laughs> the, the sign out front has a juggling clown. Uh, I'll drop her ass off, and I'm heading to Vegas. See ya. <laughs> if that doesn't give you plenty of warning when you walk into the lobby, you're met by a life-size clown slumped over in a chair with a smaller clown of... A clusters of clowns on his lap. Okay. Todd, I got one question. What is the cost of the night to stay there? Uh, that I don't know. I'm Googling that shit right now. <laughs> I, I'm booking my next vacation right now. <laughs> so when we do season eight next year for 2018, I'll be reporting live from Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the dude I met on the strip two years ago knows Big Mike. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be sitting around on the strip. You're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting it. So, F Starbucks in the unicorn drink. All right. Oh, Lord. There's a, a coffee shop that has bikini dre- has a bikini dress code oh. for all of its female employees who wear either bikinis, underwear, Ooh. and even some choose to wear um, colorful pasties on their nipples. Okay. S- sign me up. Where are we going? Yeah, where's this at? As they serve coffee in, sta- in a stand in Washington. Washington. Not PA. Washington, D.C.? Washington State. Uh, that's the West. Hey, we yeah. can hit Vegas. We'll make a trip, yeah. We'll Vegas, run right up the coast. Demo, or, exactly. There we go. Get Me and Tim are going. We'll, we'll see. Bikini Beans Ex- Espresso is owned by entrepreneur, entrepreneur Carly Joe and has seen huge success ratings. Uh, yeah. And her ratings on Yelp you have think? soared. Where people leave comments for the staff online. Well, here's here's the thing. All right, maybe I'm going off the off the wall here. I'm thinking of the safety of the girls. What happens if you spill some hot ass coffee on your titty? You You're know, gonna you see. Know, I mean, some I did titty. it this morning, so it's not <laughs> pleasant. That's what I'm saying. You know, hot ass coffee on your titty. <laughs> You're worried about the wrong thing, Tim. You're not going. <laughs> you're not going to Vegas in that fucking place with me. I'm just going solo. I'm Michael, worried. You want to go? <laughs> I'm worried about the taste of coffee. I know that. <laughs> Do they get breast milk in that? <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, sorry, go. sorry. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, a little too over the top again. <laughs> I like it. It's like a like a dispenser. Just, <laughs> there you go. That's the pregnant barista. You just walk <laughs> over and she's... <laughs> two squirts or three. Can I get two well, squirts of four. breast milk? <laughs> little he- extra cream. All right, let's take our last break. And then uh, when a woman come, when we come back, a woman has two vaginas. Not one, but two. Does that cut? If Could you, you fu- imagine the period on hey, that hey, thing? Oh, my God. Hey, if you fuck her, is that an orgasm, orgy? I, no, is that I, a threesome? Yeah, is that tag I only think she has one hole but two in her vagina. Oh, that's that. I can't figure out one hole better yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you got it. 36 think, years, I can't figure out to find think, one better think yet. Of, think about a fork in a road, okay? And if it's not, like, moist and slippery, you're hitting the middle of the road. You keep hitting. So, but if it's slippery, you'll slide one way or the other. Never mind. I'm just, <laughs> just, just shut up, Todd. <laughs> a man uses an unme- unusual method to cure constipation. It's the Double D Show. We're coming to you today from our Idiot Radio studios inside the Brookline Pub, 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ping. Home of Idiot Radio Fest 2017. What is that? When is it? May 13th, 8 p.m. Uh, featuring eight comics hosted by Howie D. Mack and headlined by Jay Russ. Purchase your tickets for $10 online at idiotradio.net. But you can get them cheaper. You can get them cheaper. Look for specials and ideas. Just follow us on uh, so- social media, and we're going to have we're gonna be blitzing or, tickets all week. Yeah, we have a shout-out oh. to Tammy, who won them tickets. Thank God for Tammy. Yeah. From good old I'm shouting out to McDonald's guy. Beaver, yeah. yeah. No, no shout-out to McDonald's guy. Spreading his special sauce everywhere. Fuck, I'm never eating at McDonald's again. Fuck that. <laughs> Going here right after the show. Stop it. (laughs) Click Baca and Idiot Radio presents the 2017 Idiot Radio Fest Stand Up Comedy Festival. Saturday, May 13th, 8 p.m. at the Brookline Pub. Scheduled to appear Joey Purse, Brian Jerome, Sam Leonard. Hosted by Howie D. Mack. Featuring Jay Cooper, Marcus Cox, Samantha Bentley, 
and the headliner of the evening, Jay Russ. Idiot Radio Fest Stand-Up Comedy Festival, Saturday, May 13th at the Brookline Pub. Purchase $10 tickets online at idiotradio.net or at the door for $15. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash wheels. Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats, featuring full-service dog and cat grooming, bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear-end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Muddy Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. Energy Angel Solution. Alternative healing services. Do you need some relaxation in your life? Is your mind feeling sluggish? Does your body hurt? Have you been feeling off balanced and just not centered lately? Energy Angel Solutions LLC offers healing that considers the energy of the whole person body, mind, and energy for optimal health and wellness. For more information, visit our website at energyangelsolutions.com. Pizza and Gyro Express, 801 O'Neill Boulevard in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. For menus, coupons, specials, and catering info, visit our website at pizzaandgyroexpress.com. Order online or by phone at 412-672-2182. Don't forget about the lunch buffet and drink every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for just $10. The original Pizza and Gyro Express. Don't settle for anything less. Yeah, Uh, Friday, bitches! uh, 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 Flavor in your ear, Friday. (laughs) The brand new... Oops, sorry. We're, Flavor in your ear. We're a little late, Ted. We're a little whoop, late. Whoop. I, I tell you what, I think I lost all my gas from Monday's show. I know. Everybody who knows us knows we taped two shows at once. Not I, I kind of lost my rhythm in the second show. I, just, I don't know. You seem all right. I mean, you a little sluggish, but you good. That weird-ass phone call didn't help either. Yeah. <laughs> that weird-ass <laughs> phone call me. scared the fuck out of me. My McDonald's guy. Yeah, but... I we mean, back. I encourage. We in the building. You encourage, encourage anybody to call. To call. Yeah, yeah, that's why you you encourage people. <laughs> I don't encourage anybody to call. So a man has a life saving surgery after he inserts a massive eel in his bum. Uh, oh, sorry. After a bizarre cure for constipation, a forty year old man who almost died after shoving up the shoving the eel up his ass for an un. Proven uh, folk remedy to treat constipation. The man, only identified by the name Lou. <laughs> I, I knew it was somewhere in the Orient. L I U. L I U. Hospitalized okay. when the fish began to wreak havoc on his intestines and stomach. Yeah, you you think? So he was because wait a minute, he was constipated. So he stuck it. Someone told him to stick an eel up his bum. And he listened. Like the that'd dummy. Be, that'd be some shit you would do sometimes. You know, I can see TJ going. Eels, dildos, T- TJ going, fingers, whatever. Hey, hey Todd, you know, you got your constipated Eric. stick of eel up your ass. Oh, okay, hold on. It's good for ratings. <laughs> <laughs> Portugal loves that shit. Portugal loves that shit. <laughs> Them in the dirty jeans. <laughs> so he was having stomach pain, so he rushed himself to the hospital because the pain was too unbearable. And uh, doctors were stunned when they found a 20... A 20-inch Asian swamp eel in his stomach. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Here's the million-dollar question. Where the <laughs> fuck know, did hold he... Hold on fu- a second. Hold on. Time out. All right. <laughs> I know, if, if you ever listen to the podcasts and the playbacks, mm-hmm. anytime Jack wants to know something, he goes, here's the million-dollar question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In yeah. the break, I meant to get that. Okay, hold on. I'm done. I'm never going to talk again. I'm turning the microphone off. <laughs> <laughs> we shredded Tim on the Crenshaw. show. We didn't kill you. We, we it, killed it was somebody Tim. else's turn. <laughs> but, yeah, every time he wants to where, know where something, do you, where this do you, is the million-dollar question. The million-dollar <laughs> question is, where did you find the fucking eel from? 
20 inches. I, I, 20 inches. I don't know where you get it. They have one sale down there. Like, yeah. Yeah. They sell them at Petco? Yeah. Dude, dude did he go in Asia, so he probably just walked, walked out walked to the, the river and pulled one out. Did he go to the zoo? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, yeah, he um, doctors were stunned when they pulled a 20-inch eel out of his ass. I'm, I mean, I mean, 20 inch anything out of your ass is pretty stunning. Yeah. Your ass is bleeding one way or another. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss of words. I don't even know how the hell you try to get that thing up your ass. I, I don't know. You want some butt sex? You want a minute? But not tonight in my ass. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I, you notice how I got to find a way to sneak it into the show. And I was, like, real reserved on if I should put that into the show. Uh, when, when, when Jim Kren was, was in here, yeah. and I was nervous, and then all that nerve, all my nerves went away when he dropped the first f bomb. Right, yeah, right, right. I think you he said was good shit again. first, and I was like, oh, whew. we're whew. good. We can be ourselves. Put your, take your pants back off. Let's it, go. It, it, it was funny because all the years I've been listening to him, and all of a sudden he drops an f bomb, and I was like, oh, it's like your That's dad swearing for the first time. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Like, oh shit, Tim, take <laughs> your fucking go hands out of your pants for Christ's sake. He's gone. <laughs> I can't help it. I still got memory, and I smell him. I smell him on the microphone. I'm not him. <laughs> oh lord! Nah, we will leave Tim in the studio alone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna molest that chair. Hey, can I get well, a picture with you and me hey, alone? Hey, hey, he's mad. He's mad. Jack's sitting in the chair now. I know, right? <laughs> I wanted, I wanted, I wanted his smell, not Jack's. I wanted to rub my ass on that. Oh my god! Thank God I got a beer coming. Look at that. <laughs> So hour and a half later. Two, two, I was going to say, two you, hours later. You yeah, did yeah. have a beer coming. Yeah. You did have a beer <laughs> coming. Now you have it on your forehead, yeah. bitch. <laughs> Won't be the first time. <laughs> you know. Uh, hey, everybody. Well, cracked you know. all these uh, fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, there's the lady with two vaginas. Oh, uh, uh, well, I can't wait to hear this shit. I found out I had two vaginas when I was 17. The makeup of my reproductive system prior to surgery. I ain't gonna lie, she's uh, not You hot. would have the opening. She's not. A normal labia. <laughs> not at all. And no. then it funnels up and splits off into a Y. And that's two different vaginal canals. At the end of the canals, there were two little donut areas for cervixes. And that divided off into two separate uterine bodies. I first noticed that something was wrong when I was bleeding more than I thought I should. Um, the pain I was that. intolerable. When I was on my period, I could not function. And I went to my primary care physician with complaints of excessive bleeding. Oh, uh, my on. surgeon had told me that I in fact so I, had two I guess she gets the period at the same two time, not different. and two cervixes. There were times I had to wear Depends because ah. pads, tampons, they weren't wow. sufficient enough. That's bad. That's nasty. So that, that she answered my question. I was like, I wonder if she has two vaginas. Do they are they on the same menstrual cycle? Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> Why do you think she got word depends? Well, you I know, thought. if girls hang out so much together, they always get on. They can get on the same so, cycle. Okay, if she has two vaginas and she has an orgasm. Ooh, there you go. Is it like a double orgasm? Does she like squirt across the room? Well, no, because it's cl- clitoris that look, actually. Look, 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 I have trouble fucking one pussy. I don't even try to fuck two. You know what I mean? Well, it's only one hole, so it's not I like... will, whatever the fuck, I don't know what's going on down there. I have no clue. You, you, you know might, Jack, it's easily confused. Yeah, and, and you, I, I heard that blood, so I'm going to pass out right now. You just now. might be I'm switching sides. I'm out of here. I'm going to smoke. You, you, let me know what you're talking about. You're That's switching sides. We're, side side. we're done. <laughs> we're done. We're going to get out of here. I'm off that subject right now. I'm going to pass the fuck out. Yeah. So next week, it's a little bit different. Um, we're going to be doing our show on a Saturday night. A little bit different. Ooh. Woo! On a Saturday it, evening. It turned up a little bit. Did you handle us on a Saturday night? Yeah, uh-huh. I, I'm looking forward to being out <laughs> on a Saturday night. I, I haven't that. been out on, since me and Tim went to any the, Uber, yeah. Any Uber Uber drivers, I need a ride. Let me know. <laughs> <All right. laughs> on yeah. a Saturday night. Uber drivers call the show. Yeah, you ain't been out since the show, that show you went to. Yeah, that was the last Are we time. going yeah. there? Where? No, we're, it's uh, there. Oh, I thought it was we're, there. We're, no, we're, Tim and I went to the improv to see T-Robe. Yeah. No, I thought you were talking about the strip club. No. Uh, no. We can anytime. We have VIP room whenever we want it. Exactly. It's a long-ass drive, but it looks, it looks all right. It's a good time. It's a good Definitely time. Definitely a good time. Free drinks. Yeah. What, what's the Uber cost to go up there? Uh, can, I, part, can I get an Uber driver to fifty dollars <laughs> No, what we do is we get Blind Brian to come. We call Access, and we all hop <laughs> in the <laughs> <and we go. laughs> I thought you were going to say Bl- Brian Blind. 
No, get it out. Sound, right. sound it out. Clap your Bri- hands. Blind. <laughs> Brian. Brian. There you go. There it is. I can't even talk. <laughs> Holy fuck. To drive. Oh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who's, who's going to give him a car to drive? All right, so um, wow. we have a couple things going on. <laughs> yeah, run them down real quick. So May 13th, our big comedy show uh, right here at the Brookline Pub, 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ping. We've talked about it enough. Eight comics. Howie D-Max, the host. Jay Russ is the, the headliner. Yeah. Um, get your tickets online, $10 at idiotradio.net. Now, after that, May 20th, Okay. I'm going to be emceeing a pizza night out at the original Pizza and Gyro Express, 801 O'Neill Boulevard in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. Um, it's an event that um, you buy slices of pizza, and it's uh, it's like a $12 slice of pizza, but it's a lar- a very big slice yeah, of pizza. Yeah, that's what I heard. And it, it's, but it's a fundraiser for the police to get them uh, bulletproof vests. Oh, okay. So nice. it's going to be a fun night of activities. Yeah. And, uh, what time does that start? Um Six to eight p.m. What day of the week is that? It is a Saturday, May twentieth, the week after our comedy show. I will not be able to make that one, but I will be supporting it. But they're looking to raise about three thousand dollars to uh, to help the police get these vests. Okay, I'm there you go. Yeah. I'll be emceeing. I might just try to pop my head yeah. out there then. Yeah. The, the the gyro sandwich is amazing. Can you, can you give me a driver sandwich to go? I get off at 11. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring it. I'll maybe, bring it. Maybe seven. I don't know, you know if it'll make it home. That's all right. You, I, know. I, you know, hey. I'll, I'll leave you a piece of bread. <laughs> order order eight. You'll get three. Just, just <laughs> fuck. Don't matter. Support that. You're good to go. Yeah. The 19th, we have our uh, VIP party, 90s party. Yeah. Basically, to that. if you have our red wristband. You get uh, in for free. Oh, shit. I got one of them ahead of me waiting for it to fucking wear it. <laughs> if not, you can just be down on the main floor with the DJ, and we're going to have 90s music. And I have it cracking. Time. Ain't that the Color Me Bad reunion? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could be Color Me Bad. You know. I think we need one more black dude. Oh. No, 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 it was no, only one. It was only one. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're going to put oh, Vinny there. Right now, there. We got it. Yeah. Right now, it's Color Me Good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There you go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Jesus. Then, um. Uh oh. We're breaking Holy the goddamn table. That's what happens when TJ gets co poly. He breaks the goddamn table. <laughs> so. No, no more leaning. No more yeah. leaning. Yeah. Please. Yeah, please. Don't eat them gyros. <laughs> <You're> gonna... <laughs> <laughs> so we got that. Then, uh, June, ni- June 17th, we have the uh, the 90s party. Yeah. And if you get the red wristband, you get to be up here. Yeah. VIP. Where are, Hang out with us. The area work studio is. I want to sex you up. <laughs> <laughs> they better play that. I know, right? I'll fight the DJ. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> get out of the booth. I'm taking over. Yeah. I'll be all drunk. Um, and then the I should have details on the car cruise. Car, Jeep, and bike cruise. Um when you schedule that for now? August. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to have to drive my bike up there. There's going to be a cornhole tournament and a pierogi eating contest. Now, I had a question. Now, July, we're going to do the pizza contest. Do we put a team, idiot, idiot radio team, in in these competitions? I would. Call up the old boys, man. I could eat pizza for well, Jack, well, Jack, I don't know if Jack would make it, but Jack and I would be the team. What day is that? Do you think that's fair? Because it's our event? Yeah, no mean, matter. In the pierogi eating contest? That's why we bring some, that's so why then we, like That's why we bring somebody else in to do us to do the idiots, you know, so we don't get in trouble. Why what, not? You mean why? someone representing us? Why? Yeah. Why? Like, why? Why? Like not? Pete? Why? Like, yeah, why? like Pete. We've been talking to you pizza for days. Yeah, right. Well, wow, wow, wow. Win. Just, we uh, could win. Okay, TJ can too. <laughs> No, you guys got all that. No, I'm, I'm well, with that. I, I well, think we should well, put well, 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 if I, y'all do it that way, then y'all so would have to. So if I compete, then you guys would have to be the MCs of the event. Yeah, that's uh-huh. fine. But still, you would have to at least donate something. So like, when we, go, we yeah. win, though. Hey, when we win, you know, we go. Oh, you know, you know, God, we ate too much pizza. You know, they'll, you know, they'll be kind of mad about that shit. Huh. We, we hosted it, and they, and then we win it. Hey. Every, nobody gets mad when like gotta bring your like, A game, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Oh that shit! That you can do an idiot radio sponsor team. Yeah, Big Mike, I like pizza. Uh, 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 Big Mike, I like Dickens pizza. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, that's all the stuff we got going on. I mean, it's a lot. It's gonna be a busy summer. Yeah, and and that's great, and it's just getting bigger. 
Uh, uh, we've come a long way in our first year. Yeah, yeah, year. yeah we have. Yeah, we, we were just talking about that. I mean, fourth figure, season. Back in June last year was when we started. I didn't make it till July. Yeah, it, it was just me and Vinny. Yeah, I didn't make it early started, this year. And then Mike came, and Jack came. Yeah. But I, I was literally walking into the Rose Bar with a, a bread rack of all my gear <laughs> doing the show. And now, look, we have a studio. That and was a long drive. Oh, we got Jim Crenn that was on the show. I mean, Jim hell, Crenn, yeah. Yeah. come on now. Midget wrestlers, yeah. Kick Chris. Kick uh, Chris. Yeah, you can't think, you can't th- well, I'll talk about him. Almost I, I, got some, local I got some more coming. I know some you do. Stuff. But uh, it's been a good ride so far, so let's keep going. Yeah, absolutely. Keep it rolling. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, download it, Idiot Radio, on iTunes and Google Play. Yeah, get Tammy it. Tammy downloaded the app. Yes, or, he did. Yeah, Thank you. From Beaver. Yeah, that's how she won the tickets. All right, let, let's just, you know. Let's yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Everybody have a good hey, week. Uh, hey, can we'll, I get, we'll I see get, you next week. Am I getting tickets for this fucking comedy show or what? Yeah, so don't go anywhere. We'll pass those out. No, I'm a, hey, you want to see me get the comedy show tickets, come see me. Yeah. Me I too. have them. We'll, we'll, I'll be around. It's like, where's Jack Splat? <laughs> Ten bucks. Right. Ten dollars. Ten dollars, you want to get it. Pulled out my pants. Whatever mm-hmm. just came out of the kitchen smells amazing. It does. Yeah, it, it does. does. Yeah. All right, let's get, let's get out of here. All right, everybody, have a good back, weekend. Back. Woo! Good, I got to pee. Peace! Week. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. It's the Donald D. Show.